Okay, so climate change is happening. Now, what can I do about it? That's what so many of our listeners and readers have asked us. So I'm going to help you find everyday solutions that you can try out in your life. Obviously, it's no one person's responsibility to solve climate change. Sometimes it does boil down to like what's available to the individual in whatever region they're in. Many of us depend on systems powered by fossil fuels. It will take big changes in some of our biggest industries to avoid catastrophic levels of warming. But little actions can add up. So every single bit of what we're doing matters, even if it doesn't feel like it, even if it, you know, seems small, even if it seems like we're just, you know, a drop in the ocean, every bit matters. The UN says 75% of global greenhouse emissions come from burning fossil fuels for powering and heating our buildings, getting us to and from work, making the things that we use and growing and transporting the food that we eat. Using less fossil fuels doesn't have to feel like a huge sacrifice. It's not about what we don't get, but it's about like what we what we can have, you know, instead that's also better for our health and our communities. I've talked with experts to bring you tips for climate actions you can take in your home, at the store, and in the car. Some are big, but many are small and achievable. Follow along for a new part of this series every week.